Yo, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name's Evan and today we're hopping to another episode of Madden 21's No Money Spent, you guys. Uh, it's an incredibly special episode today. Obviously, it's episode number 40 today. And with episode 40, it the man that we're going to be getting today came in at just the perfect time to highlight the 40th episode of No Money Spent. With that being said, you guys, the man that is coming to the squad today, I would like to welcome you. Six foot six, 236 pound rookie out of the University of Oregon. A kid that is already in the stat in the NFL history stat books with the man Patrick Mahomes. He's got 1,500 yards and 12 touchdowns through five games in his rookie campaign. I would like to welcome you, the Los Angeles Chargers rookie quarterback, Justin Herbert. Yes, you guys, we finally got a Justin Herbert upgrade. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely wish, you know, he either got the team of the week hero, or they saved him for most feared scary tall hero. But you know what, I can't complain, we got a new Justin Herbert. As you guys know, um, I've actually rocked Justin Herbert for a good minute now, and he got an upgrade, so you already know he's gonna be even better. Uh, as you guys saw, I think I sniped him for about 135k at the time. I think that was the type of time, I don't know if it is now, but... Look at this stats, you guys, with 82 speed and 93 throw power, which let me just say is ridiculous. He's got 91 short, 85 medium, and an 81 deep accuracy with an 85 throw under pressure, 85 on the run, and 86 play action. This kid is an absolute stud. Obviously still rocking Omaha X-Factor in set feet lead. Um, one thing I'm actually considering putting on him is long range dead eye, which is, you know... When he throws a deep bomb, which with someone with 93 throw power, you're going to see me throwing some deep bombs. It honestly may be helpful. I would have to rearrange my abilities, but uh, that, that that could happen in a few episodes. But uh, I can't express how excited I am that Justin Herbert finally got his respect and got himself a new card. So yeah, uh, just just looking at the squad, you guys. I mean, not obviously Herbert is the only upgrade for today's episode. Hence why I'm wearing the Herbert jersey, of course. But um, looking at the squad, you guys, we get the man Justin Herbert with Sefi lead in the Omaha X Factor as our commander in chief of the No Money Spent squad. We got our running backs, you guys. We got Austin Eckler and Dave Montgomery. Receivers are Alan Lazard, Stephon Diggs, and DK Metcalf. Tight ends, you guys. We got Vernon Davis, John U. Smith, and Hunter Henry. Offensive line, we got Lane Johnson, David Castro, Brandon Linder, Joe Cooney, and Trent Williams. And the man who scored the game-winning touchdown last episode, Kyle Juszczyk at fullback. Uh, defensively, you guys, we got the man Nick Bosa as our right end, Jack Youngblood on the left side, Roy Glover and Linval Joseph as our defensive tackles. Cornerbacks are led by Denzel Ward, Byron Jones, and Antonio Cromartie. Safeties, we got the man Derwin James, uh, Minka Fitzpatrick at free safety, along with Xavier McKinney. Our right outside linebacker is Kenneth. Over on the left is Patrick Queen. Our uh, other middle linebacker is Ryan Chazier, and our starting middle linebacker is Sam Mills. Special teams, you guys, we're going to continue to show the love. we got the man Andy Lee, Harrison Bucker, and Tyreek Hill as our kick and punt returner. Uh, with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and hop into another head-to-head -head seasons game. Once again, you guys, um, I'm just going to be asking that you guys, if you are enjoying my content, please make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, the subscriber count has actually gone up. We've been getting, gaining more subscribers daily than I usually do, so maybe this is working, you know, just telling you guys constantly to subscribe because, like I said, I put a ton of effort and love into these videos, and you guys show that love back, so it means a lot when you guys can hit that subscribe button. Uh, but enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and see Herbie ball out in uh, another head-to-head -head seasons game. Hopping into the game, you guys. That is my opponent's team. He's got a good defense, which is going to be an incredible test for Herbert. He's actually got Lurker on Sam Mills, which is probably beastly. But that's my squad. It's awesome for us to be in SoFi Stadium for uh, Justin Herbert's Team of the Week debut. But uh, let's go ahead and get into it. You guys, it's clearly a sign. We get Herbert, and it's an offensive player debut. And we're on offense to start a game. I know it hasn't happened in literally a minute, but we're going to actually take the underneath route to Vernon Davis for an easy first down to start off today's game. But anyways, you guys, as I was saying on that last play, it's been a, it's been a minute since we started the game on offense, and honestly, it's the perfect day to start it off. But once again, we're going to go to an underneath route to Diggsy as he gets about 11 yards there. Honestly, you guys, I can't express how happy I am to have a new Herbert card. I mean, it's just, oh, it's it really is awesome, but... I should easily have Austin Eckler as he's wide open. I'm going to push this thing to the outside. Austin Eckler, he's going to reach for the goal line and ends up down at the three-yard line. Let's go, Eck. After a failed attempt on the quarterback draw on first and goal, we're going right back to it on second and goal. They go up the middle. Justin Herbert walks into the end zone for an opening drive touchdown. 
My opponent is starting off the game in the gun bunch. We're going to use our Darwin James. He obviously had a clutch interception at the end of last game, but he's going to start it off with a run to Reggie Bush, who chukes me out, and he's housing that. Unless Cromartie has something to say about that. I'm not going to click on. Cromartie makes a stop, but uh, that is an awful start. That was definitely not the start we wanted, but uh, defense just going to have to hold strong as we got second and goal from the 10-yard line. Going to put Patrick Queen in a spy. And look at the tight end. He goes on a seam shot to Julio Jones for an easy touchdown. I think he's running man coverage. At least he did on that first down play where he actually sacked me. So we will see what is open. I'm going to mainly look for Vernon Davis um, on that slant play, which I don't know if it's going to be open, but we should have DK Metcalf wide open for a first down. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to want to pass the ball all day, but I also need to win this game. So we're also going to have to mix in a few run plays as Austin Eckler gets himself close to a first down. You know, it would really be smart for me to punt this thing away, but I, I don't want to. I'm hoping Al Lazar gets open on that corner out. Matter of fact, he eat Herbert. Herbert, bruh. Man, Lazar cooked that man on the corner out. Herbert couldn't make the throw, but defense is going to have to step up as he actually goes with the play action pass there. We are on target. Antonio Cromartie gets the interception, though, and we're getting the ball right back. So I just saw the, the replay. I 100% had, uh, what's his face, DK Metcalf open, but hopefully Diggs get, gets open on the corner route as he actually should, but we are thrown into a sack animation. Dang, that sucks. Third down and 10 here for my opponent. I'm coming out in man coverage, mainly because I wanted the spy with Shazier, so we'll see if uh, man coverage works against this guy. Um, but as I said, defense needs to make a big play here. He's probably going to look at the Dude, double okay. call. Byron Jones with the interception. Come on. Come on, Byron. Oh, defense with yet another an another big play. Let's go, D. I mean, Herford hasn't made any mistakes other than that one missed throw. But let's go ahead and score another touchdown before halftime. Hopefully, Diggs is open on that slant. He's actually going to watch that himself. Oh, no, 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 no. I did not see Fitzpatrick. Evan. Evan. Oh, my God. I did not see Minka there. And he's going to house it. God. Those are mistakes I cannot make. I didn't see Minka at all, but whatever just an absolutely terrible read by me uh hopefully we're able to get some points here before halftime as i should have vernon davis wide open for the first down i probably should have called the timeout i didn't but we're gonna motion over vernon davis i'm actually gonna keep him in the corner route we got 15 seconds left in the half vernon davis actually cooked him on the corner route can we just make something happen vernon davis which with a huge play getting us to the 25 yard line here we go hopefully we're able to find our way in the end zone here we only got 10 seconds left um yeah okay oh okay i was i was gonna take the sex i didn't want to get knocked out of field goal range for a second i thought i was gonna be able to make it but we're gonna go ahead and, and take our three and go to the second half but as i was trying to say in the last play you guys really need the defense to yet make another big play they've already had two interceptions so i can't be asking for a lot more but michael vick under pressure throws on the run and he completes it you're kidding me that that's that's terrible honestly after that i'm 100 percent not coming out in man coverage uh, I'm going to be in my big nickel. Going to watch this stuff over the middle. The in route is, he goes to it, and that's incomplete. Big time plays from the defense, and we got the ball back. This is honestly a situation I need to be punting the ball away in this type of game, but we are going for it. He brings the house. <sighs> we should have punted. Third down and 10 from uh, my 31-yard uh, line. Once again, we're asking the defense to make a big time play, and they do just that. Byron Jones telling Michael Vick to sit himself down. Once again, the defense is in a huge, huge situation. Big opportunity to get off the field and, you know, give our, our uh, offense to, you know, get into the end zone. But he's going to look at stuff over the middle. A couple slants and a post to the same spot. Leroy Glover, he's all in the same spot. I'm trying going to try and swat that thing away as we do just that. Defense, they've played amazing today. Here we go. I mean, this, this is low-key game on the line here. Fourth and two. Alan Lazard wide open on the corner route. This time Herbert makes the throw and Lazard catches that thing for a first down. We honestly have a lot of time left with two minutes at the 40 yard line that really opens up the playbook. We got sucked into a tackle animation. I, we've fallen into so many of those so far in today's game, but nothing we can do about those. We got second down and seven here with just under a minute 45 left to play here in the final quarter as uh, I should, oh, please don't get that picked. Lazard making a huge catch. He, he, his guys miss, and Lazard takes it all the way down to the 7-yard line. Let's go, Lazard. This is 100% the game right here. Fourth and goal from the 6-yard line. We have to punch it in, obviously. Um, man, I'm kind of nervous about this play call, but I think I have him in the back of the end zone. 
What? Are you? How are his feet not in bounds? Are you kidding me? That that that's so dumb. I cannot believe that. I don't know how DK didn't get his feet in the back of the end zone. That that's just awful. We're run committing as he's in the wildcat formation. That is unbelievable. I mean, how is DK Metcalf not in the end zone? We were watching that thing in re in replay because I, I don't know what to say. All right, we're zooming this thing out here. I want to see how he doesn't get his feet in bounds. First off, was anyone else open? I had was if I would have lowballed that thing right away, or I I, I would have had I, I had digs right there. That that sucks. I probably had Lazar too, but look at that, wide open. We're zooming in right here. Okay, I'm terrible at this right now, but we're gonna zoom in. If EA wants to hurry it up. He really stepped out of bounds. He really stepped out of bounds. That is terrible. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> we definitely should not have lost that game. I mean, regardless of the last, the fourth and goal play, we had so many opportunities to beat this guy and he just was not good. Like he scored on a long run from Reggie Bush. Uh, his first touchdown was set up on a long run from Reggie Bush and a pick six. So that guy was awful. We did not play well. We're four and three now. We gotta win three games in a row to make the playoffs, which it's crunch time, so hopefully we actually show up. Uh, this is, what, the fifth season? So hopefully Herbert can lead us to the promised lands. I apologize I was not able to pull away with the W there, you guys. But uh, hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button for me. Also hit that subscribe button, and right next to that is that bell notification. Uh, make sure to hit that to be notified for all future Nobody Spent episodes. And uh, with that being said, you guys, um, it's been your boy, and I'm out. Peace out.